Interesting. Okay. You can access Reaper items. Okay, I can access Reaper items. Now, if I was a ranger and I had the ability to access Reaper items, what items would I want to access, right? So I don't think that includes the class items. So we can just take that away. So realistically, these are the items that I would have access to as a ranger. Um, now two things pop up in mind when I'm thinking about having access to Reaper items. The first one is a poison build with Death Scythe, because theoretically speaking, you could combine Death Scythe with Poison Ivy and it inflicts four poison every thorns that you gain instead of the you know the two poison which i feel like can be really really good especially since this is literally just one item and you can combine that with other you know thorn items or poison items or whatever i mean you could also go with a poison goober if you really wanted to on top of that right which i feel like that can be really good the second thing that pops up into mind is the joker card because your weapons use 25% less stamina, which means you could theoretically go for a critting Bloodthorn, like your generic Ranger Bloodthorn build, but having it not use stamina, which I feel like can be really, really good. Um, and that's really about it as far as the Ranger goes, because I feel like one of the big things on a Ranger is crit in general, right? Because of the Clovers, Lucky Pig, stuff like that. Um... But I think what we're gonna do is try to go for a poison build on the ranger utilizing Tuscan Piercer potentially, maybe some uh, maybe some potions, maybe the Tuscan Poker essentially. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Um, but yeah, so let's buy his because we're gonna need it. Um, and let's start this off with getting a short bow with a whetstone and we'll also get the pig on sale and we'll roll one time let's get this so we can get the tuscan poker ah uh, we, we could get a poison goober i mean we do have access to reaper items which means we're definitely going to be getting flying arlic poison goober plus death scythe isn't bad because it's just poison in general the more poison we put on the enemy the better the better off we are right so I, I think that's what we'll do actually yeah let's get this goober and we'll just roll with that yeah we'll just roll with that let's see what let's see what happens going against a berserker with broom and forging hammer plus he's got the wooden sword a little bit of a banana situation berserker mode probably will kill us yep 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 that's fine um let's see here what do we do here i want to give me another bow and arrow Cause I'm not doing anything with this wooden sword realistically right I feel like to win the game or to win next round getting the goober for the healing would be the best play but I also want to get a combination off on the Tuscan poker so I think that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna keep you reserved and roll okay got another bone arrow our Sam is a 1.1 right now which could just do this now it's a point eight. we don't really have to worry about stamina but these are weaker. All right, not 1.5 damage a second versus 1.4. Okay, they are stronger. Never mind. I take that back. I thought they were weaker for some reason. Um, but yeah, we'll do that. Roll again. Oh, thorn whip. It's a one a second. I didn't think about thorn whip when I thought about that item. If I'm being completely honest, I did not think about thorn whip, but now I'm thinking about thorn whip. Then again, I do like my Tuscan Pokers. We're, we're just going to try this with Tuscan Pokers. We'll roll with this. Try this just with the Tuscan Pokers. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully what happens is amazing. Going to get a double whetstone, wooden sword, and a broom. Ah, oh, god dang it. All right, that's going to be the last L we take. That's going to be the last L we take for sure. Let's buy you and you. And then I'm just going to buy the garlic just to have another activator. Um... 
low situation like this we can even put you on the side because this activates every three seconds so why not i do kind of want to do this then i lose out on that damage increase right versus the heal i think we'll just stick with that though yeah i think we'll just stick with this we should win this one. I mean, it's only a shovel and a wooden sword with no whetstone at all. Plus, our spike gainage helps, right? So, yeah. Definitely taking that one. There goes the deck of cards. We could still get that infinite stamina. But since we're going for a poison build, I feel like it doesn't really matter all too much, honestly. It doesn't really matter unless we... I mean, there is a card that gives two spikes, which would essentially be, what, eight poison? On reveal. Nah, I think I'm passing that. Let's get this. Um, roll another pig. And we also got another short bow. Which wouldn't be bad for our stamina. Plus an activator would be good. A little situation like that. Um, I'll get the pig and roll. Yes. I will take that. I think it's a little bit too late for another wet song. So I'm just going to pass on that. Oh, you want the leaf badge. Okay, he's just got a wooden sword, though. It's only a wooden sword, double whetstone. It's only one DPS weapon, though. Plus, we got our healing and everything. And then the spikes is good. So, we should definitely be uh, taking this one. Good game. Good game. It's by you, you roll. There goes the flying Arlick. Let's go. A little bit of space. I like it. Roll again. All right. Uh... I was hoping to get a Tusking Poker because I need more, uh, I, I mean a Walrus Tusk because I need more Tusking Pokers for sure. Let's upgrade this to a Lucky Pig and Flying Argo is what, every five seconds? So I'm just going to put you down here to make you faster. Yeah, I guess we can just put the stone to wherever we want it to be, honestly. And that will work for me. One more Flying Arlick for Poison Goober, and that's what I'm looking for here. We also got to get that Death Sight, so hopefully we can get lucky in getting that because that is going to be essential. He's also got a wooden sword plus a forging hammer, so we should win because our DPS is just better. Even with that berserker mode. So yeah, that's a good game. Let's get you. Do we need blueberry? I mean, blueberry can help with clovers for accuracy and for critting, even though we're not really going to need accuracy and critting. <laughs> I guess we'll need accuracy for these to hit, right? So I'll just get it. Plus it could be an activator. 3.5 versus four. Um, roll, roll, another clover will take, roll, okay, there we go, flying Arlick, can't really get you now, but I will get you later, and blueberry can go there instead, we can move that down to do that, money, um, and we'll just finish it off with this, then I'll be good. And we'll get Poison Goober next round. And everything is history after that, I think. <laughs> they got a Goobert of themselves. They also got the Shield of Valor, but we do have just ranged weapons, so that Shield of Valor doesn't matter at all to us. Absolutely doesn't matter. Man, if we have more Tuscan Pokers, we'd be able to put more spikes on for the poison when we get there. We could also invest into a pineapple, I guess. Really wanted to. It's on sale. I'm going to get it. Only because it's on sale. Don't really care about the carrots. Honestly, getting the cap can help us. Because we need longevity on our side. The longer we live, the better off we are. So we need longevity on our side. Um, let's... I'm just going to put the flying Arlick there. Just to get the poison goober ready. You can go there. And honestly, we can just move this down by one to do a little situation oh yeah we need this right there i guess to do a little situation like that that'll, that'll work for me yeah that'll work for me i don't know where the tuscans freaking walrus tusk are they're disappearing on me honestly okay double torch they're not burning torches though so that's really good um plus the spikes getting on up there is going to help us out tremendously because their DPS isn't going to be scaling as much as if they had burning torches. Which is really, really, really good. Really, really good. And that's game. That is a good game. Boom. Nice. Let's go ahead and get the poison ivy as well. Let's get you some space. 
Now I need the Death Scythe, which I don't know how lucky I'm going to have to be in order to get that. Oh, wow. Not very lucky at all, apparently. All right, we'll take that next round then. Um, So how are we going to set this up, though? It's the question of the day. And we also got to set this guy up somehow. Oh, you're a nature? I didn't know this poison goober was a nature item. That's actually really interesting. We can play with that then. Because that entire front row is already, like, perfect, right? So... We did something like this. And we already got two nature items right there. So we're just going to be missing out on two slots, realistically. I mean, theoretically speaking, we could do that. And then do that. I mean, it's only 0.5 faster. I mean, slower. So it's not the end of the world, I guess. Um, and then the other nature items can go right there. And then that can go right there. And that's because this isn't an idea. Yeah. So that's pretty much almost max out, which we'll probably get it max out eventually. Realistically, can I combine this to? Oh, wait, what? Oh, I can increase the the the, the chance of debuffs if I put this. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I did not know that. That's actually pretty cool that I can do that. OK, that's interesting. I might try that then. I just want to see what the percentage is going to be instead of 5%, maybe something higher, because that's what 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So there's a 35 percent chance to resist debuffs. But if I increase it to like six or even seven, that 30 percent turns into like, I don't know, almost 50. Which can be really good. I think I'm going to try that, actually. Just to see what that percentage is. And we're going to get both of those next round. And we'll see what we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Looks like they went to a, for a poison build as well. They went Tuscan Piercer along with the poker. And then just poison ivy which is pretty interesting but we'll see who inflicts the most poison so far we're at what five to four so far is there theirs isn't maxed out either and this is at a oh it's, it's, it's only a 5.75 but god damn 56 critical i should have got me a tuscan poker oh my gosh that thing hurt can we still win oh wow we actually still won that's crazy <laughs> That's a good game. All right, let's buy you. I really want to get the stamina sack, though. Which I could sell the pig. Plus, I guess the whetstone at this point. Since we're relying on poison, we're in the damage that these weapons do for damage. Um, I don't think this is worth it. I mean, it goes from like a 5 to a 6%. So instead of it being 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, it's more like 6, 12, 24... 36 42 so it goes from a 35 to a 42 percent chance which is still kind of i mean it's a seven percent i mean eh. maybe i don't know that's a maybe right there that's a big maybe it's a big maybe i think i'd rather just have it on a tuscan poker to increase the uh the chance to gain one spikes um let's see here i must sell this Man, where's my walrus tusk? <laughs> I need more walrus tusk, bro. I only got one tusk in poker. I need like three. Um, I, 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 let's sell it too, just to get this, because I feel like I'm gonna need the space to try to figure this situation out. All right, let's try to figure this situation out. So if we do that, that does not work, but I can move it up by one and then it should work. like this and then both of those are in there hmm how do i like that how do i feel about that don't know how i feel about that i could do this too just to like make sure there's more slots available for like there and there right it's probably better plus they're both still in there which isn't horrible we can fanny pack both of these and we can piggy that guy 
and just make everything even down here. But then again, we need more nature items on this. Otherwise, it's just going to be shitty. Yo, Quasar, Golden J is crazy, bro. I haven't heard that name in forever. Absolutely forever. It has been a wow. How have you been? What if I did this instead? That way the blueberry can actually like get affected by this pineapple or affect the pineapple rather and then do that. So then we're missing out on those two slots over there. So we're only missing like two slots. Which isn't horrible. Then I could just do this, that, and then that. That's not bad. That's you? That is me! <laughs> From like 20 years ago. This is me though. I haven't heard that name in forever, bro. Holy crap. This is looking good though. I got the poison goober along with the poison ivy inside the death scythe. We got Tuscan poker. We got pineapple. Like this is not looking bad. Honestly, I'm not even gonna get this potion though. I feel like I'm just not gonna need it. Okay, okay going against a double axer. Also got dragon scale armor, but poison works against berserker. Even with that reduction in damage, which is really good. But can we scale our poison fast enough is the question. We're only at 30. This isn't horrible, but I feel like we could do better. We could definitely do better. We need to do better because that's not going to work. Um, let's get you. We need armor. Honestly, yeah, that's what we need. We definitely need armor and we should probably get start getting uh, dark crystals for the poison that we're inflicting. The debuffs. And everything should probably do that. Our stamina is a 2.3. Maybe going double short bows was not the play. Because this guy is eating up our stamina like crazy. Which is a problem. Another blueberry? Um, I think I will take this other blueberry. Yeah, I will take this other blueberry. Do we need any more Reaper items? Because I could just sell this now. I don't think so. I don't think we need any more Reaper items. Yeah, we literally don't need any more. So the only reason I have this now is just for the inflicting random debuffs, but it's also clogging up my shop from getting the items that I actually need. So I say we sell this. I don't think we need it anymore. So now we can only get ranger items, which is what I need, honestly. Um, I don't need anything here. We got the armor, which is good. So I'm just going ahead and buy that. Which kind of messes up those slots over there, unfortunately. So I guess we do need space, huh? For three gold, I will buy this. For three gold, I will buy that. And getting another blueberry might not be horrible. Just to make this guy a little bit faster. We'll roll with this. Okay, poison goober, snake. He's got Belladonna's Whisper though. Which is dangerous. But maybe we'll be okay. That's another interesting thing we could have done. Belladonna's Whisperer. On a death scythe, maybe? That could honestly be interesting. Already at 42 poison though, which is kind of crazy. Kind of freaking crazy. Wow, okay. We're about to be on to something here. There goes our first uh, corrupted crystal, which is great. Let's put that there. And this can just go there. Um, let's roll. I will get a protective purse. Don't really need you. And honestly, I'm going to get this just so we can get... Well, I was going to get stone armor. Where are you? But that also increases our stamina usage. Hmm, but that is a lot of survivability that we're going to need. 
The only problem is these weapons here aren't going to be able to attack, which means they're pretty much useless. They're not even going to be activators anymore. So they're they're practically useless at this point. They're practically useless since our stamina is a 2.3. Huh. I am considering things. <laughs> they're practically useless because we have too many bows. Too much stamina is being used, which is bad. Okay, a little dragon next action. Huh. Oh, Emerald Whelp will be crazy with Death Scythe too. That'll be interesting, uh, interesting build to do. We're gonna try that one day. Well, we're at 33, but you can see like our bow and arrows aren't really able to do anything. Because they're just out of stamina too much. There's really nothing we can do with a 2.3 stamina usage every second. We still might be able to win his though. Looks like it. One more poison proc. Yep. So that's a good game. Um, so yeah, I say we probably get rid of some of the bows. And replace it with food items. Because we do have a lot of food items. Another pineapple would not be horrible. So I'll say that's what we'll do. So I don't want to get rid of this Tuscan Poker because that's just, just the best one. I say we probably just get rid of both of these short bows. Now we're out of 1.5, which is way better. At least, you know, way better. This might be a little bit slower, but a 2.5 is still way better. And then we're just going to do that. And you can go there. That also frees up a slot up there. So now we're just going to be short one slot, which can just be that. Um, let's get an upgrade on the stone armor. And let's do this instead. That way, this is affecting both of those. We can still get that upgrade off. Let's not get rid of our corrupted crystal. <laughs> Um, and honestly, selling this garlic for the pineapple might not be bad. I say we'll do that. Garlic for pineapple. Which we eventually move down here, probably. But yeah, that'll be good. I think that was a huge improvement. Ooh. Looks like we're running against a legitimate Excalibur build with a uh, Deerwood Guardian. Very dangerous. Very, 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 very dangerous. We'll see what we can do, though. Especially when they get into that Berserker mode. It's going to be horrid. They already proc this guy, though. Which is good for us. Plus, with us having spikes and them not really clean. I mean, he's got Carrot the Cleanse, right? Oh, no, that just cleanses debuffs. But, yeah, he's got nothing to cleanse our spikes. Which is going to help us out. But look at that. Plus, the healing from the Deerwood Guardian is nutty. Oh, he's out of Berserker mode, though. Come on. Oh, oh, one health. As soon as he got out of Berserker mode, that was our chance. But now we got Stone Armor, which is probably going to help us out a lot. Let's get you. Roll. Again. Come on, we need something. We need, like, more Corrupted Crystals. More Corrupted Crystals. Um, And that's really about it. Just more Corrupted Crystals. That's all I need right now. Honestly, getting this fanny pack might not be bad. I'll get the fanny pack. Oh, we got a corrupted crystal. Also got another stone skin potion. Damn, I want this, but it's two. I don't really know if I even want to sell something. I mean, I would sell both of the clovers for it. That takes away the slots though. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I feel like getting another corrupted crystal is just better, honestly. And we can just replace you. Put both of the pineapples inside that fanny pack. It's probably better. I mean, we could honestly do this. That still serves the purpose of making this faster, plus that faster. And the pineapple is the same speed as the blueberries. So technically, 
do that. Maybe even do this? Put the other pineapple right there. Um, or even move this down into there instead. Somehow, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm definitely working on it. Let's see here. So I would like both of the pineapples to be inside this family pack, but not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that. Yeah, but at least one of them being inside the fanny pack. It's better than none of them being inside the fanny pack, right? So we'll take this. Even though that's not the best looking thing in the world. I'm gonna get that clover. I'm gonna get the clover. But we'll take that. Interesting. For tunas on a fencing fencing raper. 100% increased chance, which is gonna be dangerous for us. Looks like a burst build with a super fast freaking fencing raper. I don't know if we're going to be able to survive long enough to put the, uh, the amount of poison that we need on them. Honestly. Ouch. That 64 crit hurt. 72 crit. Woo! There we go. We survived long enough. That was scary. That was scary. That was very scary. But let's get you, you. Um, let's get the other fanny pack. We might be able to make something shake with that. Kind of just one of the roll twice there. Getting another cap could be good. Now, do I want to keep this how it is? Or do I want to upgrade it into a stone helmet? Honestly, 25% for five seconds is better than 25% for three seconds. So I think we just upgrade. I think we upgrade. Um, yeah, I'm feeling the upgrade. So I'm actually just going to take both of these down, move up by one, just so I can just simply do that for an upgrade. And probably do that. Might even be able to get away with that. Okay, that works. So now both of them are inside fannies, 20% faster, which is good. I'm just gonna put the I'm just gonna put you up there. Um and that can go there and that can go there. Ah, that's probably better. Yeah, we'll roll with this. We'll roll with this. Okay. He's got Chili Goober plus Steel Goobert on a Mana Thirst and a Hungry Blade little combination. Not utilizing the Dracunica Orbs for activations, which is interesting. He's also got Burning Banner, but nothing wholly touching it, which is also interesting. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. He's getting rid of our Thorns, which really doesn't matter to us, honestly, because we're betting on poison more than anything. Um, plus, both of the freaking Corrupted Crystals is going crazy right now with the armor generation. His damage isn't too crazy. I mean, he doesn't really have crazy activations on the Steel Goober like he should. So we'll probably more than likely be able to take this one. Oh, that's a good game. That's a good game. Boom. Got our stone helmet now. Let's get you and you. Let's roll. I need more Corrupted Crystals, which honestly, I think that's the only thing that I realistically need. I could maybe do Gloves of Haste on the Pineapples potentially, but meh. Very meh. Um, what about a glowing crown? Just for the invulnerability? Because we do have a lot of blueberries here, so we should be able to reach up to that 10. And it can act as an activator on a goober, which is getting better. Plus, we could put it inside that fanny pack. We can move this blueberries probably just over here or something. That's not a bad play. That is not a bad play at all. Honestly, getting this banana might not be horrible. Just to make this pineapple faster, plus having inside that extra slot. And the stamina, I mean, we kind of do need it. 1.5, because I want to proc this Tuscan Poker as much as possible. 
That's also not a bad play. How much gold are we getting next round? 15. I think we'll do that. Let's do that. Get this next round. Let me roll. Second cap. Or third. Third cap. So no one's going to be stunning or creating us like crazy. Because we've got a 40% chance right now. Getting that would just make it even better. And a reduction in damage would be nice because we've got a 50% reduce reduction in damage. Which could be 75, but mm, for 7 gold? I don't know. I think I'm going to pass on it. I think I'm going to pass on it. A poison build. Poison build versus poison build. They also have double corrupted crystal. It's got a moon shield. That's something I did not think of. It's also got double glowing crown. Mana generation is just that blueberry. So he's probably going to proc it one time. He got most of his mana generation just from his stone armor. So he's definitely going to be able to proc it at least once right there. Right. But after that, he's not going to be proccing it again. And it looks like we're able to put more poison on him than he is on us. Which is great. Look at that. 54 to his, what, 28? So we should be solid. Plus, us having spikes is going to hurt him with his death scythe and his curse dagger hitting us. 98 right there. He's doing, what, 38 to us? 110. Yeah, that's game. Reaper versus ranger poison build and the ranger won freaking ranger won plus now that we're gonna get this makes it even better what are we looking at okay so all the slots are pretty much there so we don't even need this clover i was considering getting it but we don't really need it um do i need to, i'll get this just because but yeah give me more corrupted oh wow finally we get a freaking walrus us read this if you suck i don't suck though so like yeah should I get another blueberry? Or should I get a mana orb? I don't really need mana other than the going crown. And this pretty much generates all the mana we need. This is a proc after seven seconds. Because all those are going to generate one. Unless he has something to remove buffs, which is going to suck. But let's just hope he doesn't. Let's roll with this. Hey, Water Diablo, what's up? You got a build for me. Spill the beans. Okay. On the bright side, we don't really care about blind since we're a poison build. Even if we did care about blind, we have to glow in crown. On the shitty side, this is a pet build with five rats. And I mean, we don't have buffs, so we don't really care about the squirrels since we, we don't care about buffs. So the rats is our big problem here. Oh, that could be interesting. A rat build on a death scythe, bro. Excuse me. All right, anyways. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. I want to try that. Rat build on Death Cypher. Okay. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we also resist poison because of the uh, the poison ivy. Look at all that resist, 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 resist. Resist, resist, resist. And we don't care about blind. Because most of our damage is just coming from poison. Now like you can blind us all you want, brother, but it doesn't really matter to us. Invulnerability proc? Actually massive right there. Actually freaking massive. There we go. We beat a freaking pet build. Granted, it wasn't a crazy pet build, but a pet build nevertheless. Never the freaking less. That's actually freaking awesome. Let's, um, honestly, we can just switch this up a little bit. Those are some pretty fast pineapples. Roll. Very interesting and very tempting. And I will do it. Now, give me more corrupted crystals. Come on, game. I'm going to have to super roll next round, I think. Next round is going to be super roll. Ranger, lucky pig, dagger. I don't, I don't get it. Whoa. Poison build versus poison build. Okay. Okay, um, he's got snake though. And it's a fast snake. He's got three gloves of haste on a single snake. Double death scythe. He's only got one corrupted crystal though, but he's got double armor. Plus this one's getting the 30% buff. I don't know if we're going to be able to out poison. Honestly, we'll have to see. Okay, so initially we're getting more armor, which is good. The caps really don't matter because he's not critting or stunning. 
And he's not doing most of his damage at the beginning of the game. Ooh, he's already got 23 on us. Ooh, 25 to our 22. This is not looking good. I mean, we're keeping up, though. Now we're in a lead. Now we're not. Now we are. It's looking kind of even. I'm not going to lie. It's... Now we're in a lead lead. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, and because they take 25% more damage. What? We actually beat a leg We landslided even a legitimate poison build. With Snake. The 25% increase in damage that they take is actually kind of crazy. Even if we had similar poison, we did like 100 something damage in them. They only did like 75 to us, you know? Actually crazy. Plus the spikes also do damage because he has double death scythe, right? If we look at the damage that was dealt, spikes managed to do pretty much 100 damage, 91 damage. You know, look at that. That's crazy, honestly. What's our spike generation? Okay, Tuscan Poker actually generated five. I wasn't expecting it to actually generate that much. It actually managed to generate five, which is on par with one of the pineapples. Even though the pineapple was like, what, three things fast? On a, what, 57% chance? If we had more Tuscan Pokers, that would be pretty, pretty crazy, honestly. More Tuscan Pokers would be crazy, but we have to worry about stamina. That's the only issue. All right, so I think we only need just Corrupted Crystals at this point. It's the only thing I'm looking for. Okay, another pineapple is kind of nasty. I'll get it. But please. Okay, we got one. It's probably the only one we're going to be able to buy. All right, where are we putting this thing? Um, I mean, we could do... That. That's not horrible. That is not horrible at all. <laughs> that hor oh my god. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, so he's got double moon shield. Again, poison is amazing because we don't care about stamina, which is great. Um he went with a single Fortuna's Grace and double Fortuna Hopes. I wonder if he's actually gonna be able to proc this clover. I mean he does have three blueberries. He's probably gonna have max up mana, or ten mana rather, than max up mana. So that's going to be a thing. Blueberries are going to generate the clovers plus the Fortuna's Hope generating clovers. Probably going to get a Mega Clover proc. And if that happens, then he's probably going to get a Gen proc. And if that happens, then he's probably going to be doing a shit ton of damage. So we'll just have to see what happens because that's definitely going to be a thing um, for sure. And if you guys don't know how this build works, essentially we have Dev Scythe right inflicting 100 percent more poison on our poison goober plus the poison ivy which poison ivy inflicts two poison per spikes gain which now is going to be four poison instead of two poison and all of our spike generation is coming from all these pineapples along with tuscan poker and that's essentially how the build works for defense we just got triple corrupted crystals on the uh armor slots which seven debuffs inflicted we gain six armor which is great plus the invulnerability from the glowing crown helps us out with survivability a shit ton to make this build a little bit better i'd probably say more tuscan pokers and some form of stamina generation whether it be the flute banana whatever you want it to be um but i feel like tuscan pokers like two of them would be good right that or you can even try this out with a bloodthorn honestly um that could also be good with the death scythe but yeah that's pretty much how this build works now let's see if we can beat this guy he's already got 17 clovers so he's definitely going to get a clover proc right about now which he probably yep he got that gin proc as well so this is doing 43 to 46 without critting he's got 100 percent crit chance 90 damage on my dome already and vulnerability is going to help me out a lot because this next hit is not going to do anything which is massive helps us build up that poison but now we're going to be taking a lot of damage 93 104 93 to 104 hold up 120 oh he went into berserker mode Hold up, one more proc, he's dead. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oh, Berserk, oh yeah, he's dead. Wow. He was out of stamina. And that's probably why this didn't uh, go off again, because he was out of stamina. 
Damn, I didn't even think about the Berserker mode, though. Items trigger 20% faster and take 15% reduced damage. Wow. I did not think about Berserker mode and uh, having your Fortuna's Grace go 20% faster. But you got to worry about that stamina. Having three bows, I mean, you're at a, what, 0.7 right now, buddy? So am I, but, you know, poison is a thing. But this is, this is a fun build. This is a damn fun build. Let's see the damage dealt. 622. 622 damage dealt is insane. And they did a lot of damage too. 620 freaking two. Absolutely crazy damage. Absolutely. But he had that survivability as well. And the fact that we didn't really care about his shields, taking away our stamina helped a lot because he had a 50% chance, a 50% chance, okay, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, that was a that was a pretty damn good game.